Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, replica um, World War II Jeep that you can see behind me. I say, for the avoidance of doubt, it is a replica, not the real thing. Um, but hope you like the videos anyway. One walk around, one driving with a bit of engine action as well. Okay, let's have a look around this, uh, well, rather wonderful in my opinion, um, replica Jeep from, uh, well, replica World War II Jeep. For the avoidance of doubt, it is not an original Willys or Ford Jeep. It is a replica. Um, we think this was probably uh, built by Jago at some point in the past as a Jago Jeep on a Ford Anglia base. Um, and then also we think, because the timeline is about right, it was probably one that was um, built like this uh, into sort of military spec by uh, a company called Dog Company Replicas in sort of 2013 2014 but we can't uh, can't prove that but it's their sort of thing if you like but it is rather wonderful i'm not a jeep expert but uh, my workshop manager most certainly is um he's got at least two proper wartime ones um, and he reckons this is really pretty good um the way it's been done um, i thought he would uh, uh, turn his nose up at it but um anything but uh, he thinks it's really rather splendid anyway um comes with all the kit you see in the in the photos and videos um, so it's got all sorts of things on it I'm not going to point everything out because if you're looking at it you know what you're looking at shall we say um, the siren incidentally does work camo net it's in four seats to spec this one you've got a rear seat in the back there See from the photos that obviously the um, yeah, the hood is lovely as well. NATO tow hook, rear bumperettes. So it's got this um, radio in it, but I haven't tested it. I presume it's not wired up. Probably just there for show. So uh, expect that to be the case. Pioneer tools on here. Um, even down to its uh, obviously dummy four-wheel drive levers here um, it's running a Ford 1300 motor as I say the V5 still says it's a Ford Anglia from 1965 uh, but that was normal for Jago Jeeps so let's uh, walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits there's really nothing I can criticize on it it is absolutely super look under there obviously you can see there it's only two-wheel drive not four-wheel drive but it has been built with great attention to detail um, only thing I will say speedo is showing 15,000 miles however whilst all the other gauges are working working perfectly the speedo isn't um, the drive on the gearbox has uh, um, has come off um, but you don't really need a speedo on this. You can't really go that fast. Performance wise, it's about the same as a standard one, really. As an original, if you like. So, leisurely. Proper seats. Even got things like, I mean, I imagine they're reproductions. Uh, Willie's mirrors on it. you under the back here there's an awful lot to see under there as I say we think it was built looking at the history about uh, 2013 2014 we haven't got any history prior to that date but an awful lot thereafter so a lot of money spent on it Matching set of military tyres, six, um, 600 by 16s. Hand operated wipers. I think that's actually a genuine Willys screen surround, but I could be wrong. And 
even in the box here that's um, got a stamp of 1942 on it. Got all sorts of bits and pieces, including a bridge plate. You can go on the uh, front wheel. Sadly, no grenades in there. But there we have it. I mean, she is quite magnificent in my opinion. But as I say, be under no illusions. It is not a genuine one, but a uh, third of the price of a genuine one. Anyway, hope you like it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information. Right, let's fire this Jeep up and show you what the engine runs like when it's stationary. Ignition light on. It's nice and warm at the moment. Let's make sure it's in neutral. Yeah. Starts nicely whether it's hot or cold. No problems there. Well, one thing I will show you is the... That's the horn. But that... Is the siren. <laughs> So let's have a look on the bonnet. Ford, um, Ford engine. I don't know if it's a 1300, I can't remember if it's pre cross flow or cross flow, but I'll tell you that in the description. Um, nice set of exhaust headers on it. It's had a lot of work done for the engine actually. Um, and it runs really sweetly. It looks like a Weber carburetor conversion. In the shadows. Yeah, this runs nicely all round. Doesn't get hot, doesn't misbehave. Sounds nice. I was going to have a look. Yes, it's got front disc brakes on it, I think, rather than drums. Looking down through there. It certainly stops nicely. Yeah, front discs. Um, yeah, it's, it's just super. Hope you can see what you need to see.